Assembly and Installation Package Content Install the corresponding 2.4G and 5G antennas. Pass the RJ45 cable through the waterproof connector cover. Connect the RJ45 cable to WAN or LAN port. Screw the waterproof connector bracket. Tighten the bracket with the wrench. Plug the power plug into the DC in port of the PoE converter. Plug the power adapter into a power outlet. Connect the PoE port of the PoE converter with an Ethernet cable to WAN or LAN port of the device. Connect the LAN data in port of the PoE converter via another Ethernet cable to a LAN port on your route. Stick two silicone pads on the bracket and pull respectively. Thread the cable ties through the fixing point of the bracket. Fix the device to the pole with cable ties. Software configuration. AP mode. What could AP mode be used for? AP mode could help you convert existing wired signal to wireless signal with internet. If your PC is connected to the host router via ethernet cable, Please disconnect the Ethernet cable temporarily. Please make sure all VPN are disabled. Connect the Wi-Fi signal of Wavlink device. Normally, the login page should pop up automatically. If it does not pop up, please enter 192.168.30.1 in the address bar manually. Choose the language and enter the default management page password admin. Choose the region, time zone, and create a new login password. You could create a new Wi-Fi name and choose the encryption method. Then you could create a new Wi-Fi password. Click save and wait for the progress bar to end. Connect the Wi-Fi signal of Wavlink device again and click refresh. You will go back to the management page. Then check if you could get internet. Repeater mode. What could repeater mode be used for? LN repeater mode, the Wavlink device could build a wireless connection with the host router, and it will create a new Wi-Fi signal with internet to cover a larger area. If your PC is connected to the host router via ethernet cable, please disconnect the ethernet cable temporarily. Please make sure all VPN are disabled. Connect the Wi-Fi signal of Wavlink device. Normally, the login page should pop up automatically. If it does not pop up, please enter 192.168.30.1 in the address bar manually. Choose the language and enter the default management page password admin. Click switch mode and select repeater mode. Choose the region, time zone, and create a new login password. Wait for the Wafflink device to scan for nearby Wi-Fi signals. Choose the Wi-Fi signal of the host router and click Next. 
Enter the Wi-Fi password of the host router. You could change the Wi-Fi name of the Wavlink device as well. Create the Wi-Fi password for the Wavlink device. Click save and wait for the progress bar to end. Connect the Wi-Fi signal of Wavlink device again and click refresh. You will go back to the management page. Then check if you could get internet. Mesh router mode. What could mesh router mode be used for? The mesh router mode could help you convert existing wired signal to wireless signal with internet. In this mode, the ARI LHD9 could form mesh system with specific Wavlink device including itself. If your PC is connected to the host router via Ethernet cable, please disconnect the Ethernet cable temporarily. Please make sure all VPN are disabled. Connect the Wi-Fi signal of Wavlink device. Normally, the login page should pop up automatically. If it does not pop up, please enter 192.168.30.1 in the address bar manually. Choose the language and enter the default Wi-Fi password admin. Click switch mode and select mesh router mode. Choose the region, time zone, and create a new login password. Choose the correct one type. You could change the Wi-Fi name and set a Wi-Fi password for Wavlink device. Click save and wait for the progress bar to end. Connect the Wi-Fi signal of Wavlink device again and click refresh. You will go back to the management page. Then check if you could get internet. Mesh extender mode. What could the mesh extender mode be used for? In mesh extender mode, 573HX3 could form mesh system with existing specific Wavlink mesh device and it could form mesh system with itself as well. When the Wavlink device is in default factory status, please press the pair and WPS button for two to three seconds on the mesh extender and release the reset button, the status LED should change. If you are not sure if the device is in default factory status, please reset the device before pairing. Within two minutes, log in the management page of the mesh router. Then please go to advanced mesh network. Next, click add. Click next to scan the nearby mesh extender. When the mesh extender is found, please check the box and click add to add the mesh extender. Wait for about two minutes and check the LED status of the mesh extender. The LED status should change after pairing progress is done. If the mesh extender is added successfully, it will get a IP address from the host router. Hope this video could help you. If you meet any problem, please be free to contact our support team, support at wavlink.com.